Hi, my name's Eddie Rodriguez, and we're here to say goodbye to... And as for you, my fine lady, it's true, I can't attend you here and now as I'd like, but just try to stay out of my way. Just try. I'll get you, my pretty, and your little dog, too. <laughs> Well, that's what Laura Witten would want you to think. But here are a couple of people who could tell you what she's really like. Hello everyone, my name is Jen Franey, and Laura Witten is a dear friend, a mentor, my coach, she's family. I've known Laura Witten since I was 23 years old, as she was my BITSA mentor, my first year teaching. Laura, in so many ways, taught me how to be a teacher, taught me how to listen and coach others, and taught me what it is to be an educator for the long haul. It's funny, when you mention the word BITSA to many, oftentimes the response can be, oh, the extra work we have to do as a first-year teacher, the forms, the meetings. And I don't have that memory of my first-year BITSA. I have a memory of Laura. And I pulled out my BITSA binder, my BITSA box, I still have it, and I had titled the binder BITSA Love because that's what Laura gave to us in Bitza. She gave us love and encouragement, and she gave us a safe place where we could vent and be real and vulnerable as we were trying to learn to become teachers. And probably one of my most favorite memories of that first year is the day when a lesson went terribly awry. The students weren't uh, engaged. I was having trouble connecting with some just wasn't going well. It was a course with no curriculum. I was making it up as I went. And Laura, sitting there taking notes in her purple pen, said, come on, let's go. And so I grabbed my classroom keys and I followed her out the door and I thought we were walking to the office until we took a turn and started walking toward the street. And I looked at her and I said, Laura, where are we going? And she said, we're going for a walk. We're going to talk this out and it'll be okay. And I, of course, replied with, but, but Laura, they're going to get me in trouble. I'm not allowed to leave. We haven't checked out. And she replied lovingly, you're with me. It's going to be fine. Let's go for a walk. And so we joke and laugh and love about that memory and, and call it the, the Broadway walk. Because we walked down Broadway for probably a quarter, half a mile. And I poured out my guts and she walked me through things and we discussed the lesson and it didn't feel like a bits of meeting. It didn't feel um, like I had to worry about forms. It was just the support that a first year teacher needed. And in many ways, Laura was and always will be my biggest coach. I found a memo that she had given all of us the week after our colloquium, which is kind of the ceremony that ends year one and she wrote, last ditch advice. Come on, you really, could, you really thought you would get away with just the speech at the colloquium? And they're bulleted, not even numbered, so Laura, and the hearts, or the bullets are hearts. Learn from yours and others' mistakes. Collaborate. Be coachable. You don't already know everything there is to know about teaching. No one does. So soak up everything you possibly can. Keep in touch. And of course, it's signed XOXO Laura in the purple pen that we all know and love about Laura Witten. The second artifact that I thought I would share is a poem that pretty much sums up Laura Witten 
and of course why I've kept it for 20 years in my Bitsa box. It's on purple paper and it's titled, Just a Teacher. Today I was a nurse binding a hurt with the white bandage of compassion, a doctor healing a small broken world, a surgeon suturing a friendship together. Today I was an alchemist seeking gold in base metals, a scientist answering endless whys, a philosopher pondering elusive truths. Today I was an entertainer refreshing young minds with laughter, a fisherman dangling learning as a bait, a pilot guiding youth away from ignorance. Today, I was a general campaigning against intolerance, a lawyer speaking out for brotherhood, a juror weighing right and wrong. Today, I was a philanthropist sharing the might of the past, a mother wholly giving love, a humble follower of truth. Mine are such varied occupations. How can they know me? Just a teacher. Laura, I will miss you in terms of getting to work with you, but I know that your gifts of education will continue, and I am so excited and happy that I got to share a part of my career with you, and I wish you well in retirement. It's much deserved. I knew if I ever felt alone, you were going to be there for me. If I needed advice, you were going to give it to me straight up, not beat around the bush, sugarcoat it. What you said was the truth, and I really appreciate that. And knowing that Hunter and Delaney were going to have you in high school meant the absolute world because that means they were going to be protected, safe, loved. You were going to push them to their fullest potential. So thank you for that. You really changed my life. And um, nothing I could say could express to you how grateful I am for that. So I hope you enjoy retirement. I hope you live life to the fullest like you already do and keep on wearing that purple. Hey Laura from the 11 PLC. We're gonna miss you a ton. Timmy, what do you want? Hey, Joyzy, how you doing? I got some stuff to say to you. Number one, love your time with Montana. Don't forget to take care of art. Because I know, Montana's special. <laughs> also, I've loved your heart. And I know you like to act all bossy, and that doesn't play, because you've got the best heart I think I've ever met. Now, I'm trying not to cry, <laughs> but I got this to finish up with for you. Linda would be extremely, extremely proud of you. I know it, I think you know it. She would hug you and not let go and rock back and forth and she would tell you how proud she is that you did a great job as our leader. Thank you so much. I just wanna thank you for taking a chance on this weird, long, blonde haired guy who came in at 23 with a tie. And uh, yeah, Ooh, you wore a tie. I, I wore a tie for two wow. straight years. And, and Laura told me multiple times to stop. <laughs> so thank you for giving me that opportunity. Uh, it's, you know, obviously changed my whole life and you were there the whole time. So thank you so much. Laura, thank you as well. It's been such a crazy ride with you. And I'm so glad we got to teach AP Lang together. Um, it's been amazing to get to know you even better in that way. Thank you for everything you've done from the very first day. You, um, you made sure that I felt welcome. You shared everything with me. And I know you keep thanking me for helping you in AP, but uh, everything that you've done for me in the last 15 years is, you know, it, it, nothing compared. I, I can't do, I can't do anything to repay you for that. So thank you. I love you and definitely have fun with art in Montana. And I'll see you at NHS induction ceremony. <laughs> Thanks, Laura. Laura. Congrats. Bye, Laura. Bye -bye. <laughs>
Hi everyone, how are you? Here we are at Laura's retirement celebration. So I wanted to share with you a quick little story. When I first met Laura about 14 years ago, I was really surprised about this purple thing. You know, she would write with purple ink and she wore a lot of purple. And one day one of my students came in with a purple post-it note with ink written on it in purple. Everything was purple. So that was kind of my first impression with her about the whole concept of purple. But little by little, we became friends and uh, good colleagues. And over the years, we've had a lot of really good conversations and um, she has been very supportive with me um, throughout the years that I've been with ESTA because she has also been involved with ESTA. And yeah, she's just a wonderful person and super excited to be celebrating her. We honor you, we love you very much, and we're so excited for your retirement. And we are extremely excited that you will not come back as a sub. So, te quiero mucho y hasta pronto. Hi, Mrs. Witten, this is Tom. I want to thank you for your wit and wisdom the past few years uh, that I've gotten to know you. Uh, not only is this the uh, last of a school year, but this is the last of a great teaching career. My hat's off to you, well, even though it's on. Um, I appreciate all our uh, conversations. I will miss those so much. Uh, I'll miss listening to your laugh as you laugh at my funny jokes, and uh, I hope they're funny jokes. And uh, I want everything but the best for you and, uh, and Montana and your husband. Sounds like uh, you guys are going to have a great, great time off, and uh, I appreciate everything that you've done for me. Um, good luck. Congratulations. Happy retirement. You are retired. You have worked very hard. You have produced amazing things with people. You have left a legacy. Now it's your turn. Rest, relax, enjoy retirement. Be free. I love you. I miss you already. Ms. Witten, Johnny Roberts here. Musicals, plays, English, great time you taught us how to staple papers the right way and I still do it. <laughs> I wanted to sincerely thank you so much for everything you've done over the years, for all your students, the lessons you taught, little and large, and the memories you helped form. Um, when I think back to Nova School, I think back to the plays, and they're my fondest memories. So thank you again so much. And also just congratulations. You did it. You're doing it. Retirement. I've heard so many good things about retirement. Um, live it up for the both of us, because mine's not for another 40 years. You deserve the best. Thank you again so much, truly. I hope all is well. 
sweating just want to say hi and uh congratulations on your retirement i'm happy that i'm still a part of your life after all these years of being my favorite english teacher and as well as coach warren being one of my favorite coaches <laughs> so congratulations and to many more love you wish you all the best Ms. Witten, congratulations on retirement. I'm so happy for you and I'm so grateful for all the life lessons that you taught me like how to correctly staple papers, that purple pens are always better than red, and to keep your hair out of your face. Sending you so much love. Hey Laura, it's me, Stanley. I just wanted to say congratulations on your retirement and to have fun with all the puppy love at home. We miss you. Happy retirement, Mama. I'm so excited for you to start this new chapter. You've really been there for me for over nine years, and I really don't think I would have gotten through high school without you. You've really made me who I am today. So thank you for that, and I love you so much. Hi, Laura. Um, I can't believe you're retiring. It's, I don't know what Sam School would be like without you, honestly. Actually, I can't believe I'm using your first name. <laughs> You've always been Ms. Witten to me for so long. Um, I want to wish you congratulations on your retirement. Um, and uh, I just wanted to say that uh, there are so many things that I wouldn't have experienced without you um, in my own life. Um, I remember when I had students that asked me to come see their improv show, and I, I didn't know what what their show was and before I knew it you and I were both advising the team together and then uh, you handed it off to me and uh, that was a really great um, great time um, and then all the times that you've included me in your audition panels and um, and then you you graciously allowed me to join the cast of the drowsy chaperone and that was such a great time I'll never forget that um, working with, with you and all those great students um, that just stoked my love of the theater from when I was in high school. Um, and now I'm t uh, I've been taking classes at the National Comedy Theater, so none of that would have been possible uh, without your encouragement and your support. And, you know, drama is the drama club and the, and the plays and the musicals. That's the place where I felt like family, and I really do appreciate that. Um, so I guess I'll just wrap it up and, again, say congratulations on your retirement. Um, you better come back and see us because uh, we certainly are all going to miss you here. Um, and thank you for all your love and, and your service to the school for all these years. Hi, I'm going to keep it short and sweet, just like you. I'm kidding. We're probably the same height. Um, I love you. Happy retirement. You deserve everything that comes after working so hard for so many years and being a mother, a mentor, and an all-around outstanding individual and role model for students for so many years. I love you, happy retirement, enjoy it, and I hope to see you soon, bye. Hi, Ms. Witten. Uh, so I heard from a little birdie that you are retiring this year. Uh, congratulations on retiring from teaching at San Pasquale. Um, there's a couple things that I have to tell you, some of which you may already know. Um, you are, without a doubt, the best teacher that I ever had in high school. Um, thank you so much for being there for me outside of school. Thank you so much for um, showing me a whole type of art that I had never known before. Um, and thank you from me and from every single child that you ever helped and loved at school because there were so many times where you were the only person I could talk to about certain things outside of family members because there was no one else who understood, there was no one else who cared, and no one else who uh, gave their time so freely and lovingly as you. So I cannot thank you enough for that. 
Um, another thing that has to be said is you are the definition of a perfect teacher because I feel like the perfect teacher is somebody who who teaches you, nurtures you, encourages you in the moment when the when you are teacher and student. Um, but someone who also someone whose teachings and lessons stay with the student for years and decades and possibly for the rest of a person's life. Um, it's been a little while since I've been out of high school now, but um, there is not a day that goes by that I don't think of something that you taught me or I don't run into a situation where um, something that I learned from you um, doesn't help me. And so by that definition, you are the perfect teacher. Um, one tiny example that I know I have to share with you. Uh, I was printing a script the other day at just like a copy shop thing. And um, the guy printed it for me and he goes to staple it. And he, st he stapled it for me, but he stapled it horizontally. And I had a visceral reaction to him doing that. And I'm pretty sure I like took a remover, you know, I like went away somewhere and took a remover and took the staple out because I was like, I can't, I can't do this. You did it wrong. This is how you staple things. <laughs> anyway, I digress. Um, I love you so much. And I am so, so proud that I was your student in high school. And uh, I am so grateful that uh, you took me in, basically, as one of your children and that you helped me and guided me through all of my high school years. Um, I know I couldn't have done it without you. And um, also, thank you for coming to see my shows that have happened since high school. It really means the world to me because it's just another way that you demonstrate that you are still part of my life. Just because high school is over doesn't mean that you stop being a part of my life and um, your support and your love means the world to me. So, thank you. I hope you enjoy an amazing retirement and uh, I can't wait to see you as soon as possible. Bye. It's hard when a school loses a great teacher and even more so when a school loses a great teacher of teachers and not just teachers but principals and superintendents i've seen them all seek out the wisdom of laura witten and it speaks volumes that these people in power and that these educators have all seeked out this honest and genuine person it speaks to a level of wisdom that is rare. I, I once heard that the most influential people in this world aren't those who seek to change the world, but those who seek to change the world around them. And though Laura aligns herself with the Wicked Witch of the West, um, in the play Wicked, which is about said witch, um, there's a line in that play one of the songs that says, because I knew you, I have been changed for good. And I think that everybody who's ever met Laura will agree. And I will certainly agree that because I knew you and because we all knew you, we have all been changed for good. Thank you. Look what you've done!